My name is Julius, I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. They're beautiful, they're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings Okay guys, so today we're talking about a man that is like sexually attracted to balloons, like what the fuck is wrong with him? Like it's it's alright to be in love with something, but like at least be gay, but like you're in love with balloons, like what the hell is wrong with you? You have some like mental illness or something if you're in love with balloons, like I can't explain it. Like, it makes no sense at all. Like, I'm gonna be in love with a balloon. Like, imagine loving a balloon. And, like, making out with it. Like, there's, like, something kind of wrong with that. And, like, I guess we just gotta go to the next I wonder clip. if it's my love for them that brings them to life. My first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical one. Why? I, I don't know. I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Julius is so addicted, he even had. Okay, so like, this guy has over 50,000 balloons in his house. Like, what the hell, man? For, like, this guy has so much balloons in his house. Like, just imagine, like, he. Like, how. Like, he's in love with the crystal ones. The clear ones, I think that's what he said. But like, that's kind of like wrong. Then that, like his, that one guy was like, um, that's weird. And then I was like, oh no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> and this world so hard. And I was like, like, it's like not normal to love a balloon. But, like, for him, I guess it is normal. And he was, like, in love with balloons for a long time. And he's, like, loved them since he was, like, five or something. Like, this is some pretty weird-ass shit, so. Um, I guess let's just go to the next clip. Clip. I guess it's, like, a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Julius is so addicted, he even has an entire room dedicated to balloons. This is my balloon sanctuary. I have uh, magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. And uh, wherever I, I have a white one, I don't have many white ones, but I try to put the white ones in there, like there's a white one over there. And then I've got some orange and yellow and green. I try to alternate it to keep all the colors, you know, uh, of the rainbow in there. One of my favorite balloons is the weather balloon. It's very delicate uh, and soft and, and smooth. It's probably one of the softest balloons I've got. For me, it's the bigger the better. Of course, I can't get, you know, an eight-foot balloon in this room, so I, I settle for the five-foot, uh, you know, weather balloon. I guess you can say it's more to love. I sleep in my balloon room every night. When I wake up in the morning, it's like being in balloon heaven. But Julius is upset. See, I told you, like, this guy has a whole, like, room dedicated to balloons. Like, uh, he, like, loves balloons so much he keeps, like, a whole room of them. I'm sorry for all these ads. 
showing up like I don't know why it's showing up I don't have I don't ever have the internet on when I record this part so no ads pop up at all but they still pop up but like this guy has a whole like room dedicated to balloons so I guess he's pretty in love with them so it's kind of insane like just imagine being like mom I'm in love with balloons like your mom would not say all right son I accept your choice she'd probably be like get out of my house go die somewhere <laughs> like balloons for real like it's all right to love like guys or girls but really you're fucking balloon you're a fucking balloon like he's in love with clear ones he has a whole room dedicated to balloons oh my gosh like how how do you have a whole room dedicated to balloons like what is wrong with you you have some mental and silent brain like did it, like he wakes up and he thinks he's in balloon heaven like he wants to die and go to the um, heaven where it's just balloons like I don't think that's real but all right yeah, whatever floats your boat man but it's kind of insane like like you're not gonna just like love a balloon every single day like that's not like your first attraction is just a balloon like <sighs> where does like TLC get this kind of stuff out like no joke and like I wish I figured out how they got this piece is they're insane for finding this at all like his obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors my love for balloons it's also a sexual love when I see a, a beautiful balloon my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. All right, so I can't take any more of that, like a guy loving a balloon. So I guess I'm just gonna end off the video soon or just like right here. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for um, watching me today. And I hope y'all have a pretty awesome day because, like, we're meeting people, and I'm meeting you, and I, I'm going to try to get a goal or something, like, have a certain amount of subscribers, like, help me reach that goal, and thank you.